Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. We're going to be watching Nick sell the very guard, tackle, center, whatever you want to call him from Old Dominion. It's funny because I actually watched this game, Old Dominion versus Virginia Tech. Old Dominion won at the last second. I do remember watching this game from this past college football season. Uh, we're going to be at right tackle. Like I said, he, he's a versatile guard. He could play all the positions, but this game, he's going to be playing right tackle. Right here, first play, nothing really going right here. Uh, it's just a little dive play inside. He can't let that guy beat him, you know, um, inside. The guy wants to go outside. You can have that. Gives him a little love tap at the end. No harm, no foul. Second play of the game. Let's watch this get off the ball. Oh, it's kind of late. But they run a little stunt right here. A little stunt action. Um, Virginia Tech. Old Dominion doesn't recognize it. This guard, watch this guard this entire time next to him. He never comes off his guy. He should be coming off that guy. You know, now Nick Saldaveri has to chase, and you're going to get your quarterback hit if you don't pick up that stunt. Communication issue, got to be better than that. Let's see if they can adjust throughout the game. That's only the second play of the game. You know, let's see what's going on. Third down right here, pass play. Uh, pretty easy. Pretty easy block for him right here. Catches that guy, throws his arms, shoots those arms. I like it. Shoot those arms, keep that guy away from you, man. You're 6'6", 320, use it to your advantage. And I like that we finished through the play right there. Finished through the play right there. I like that. Oh, buddy. Oh. Hey, I hope he got tripped. Once again, right tackle. Trying to get to that second level. There's a lot of feet in there. Whoop. Hey, man, I hope you got tripped. I hope you got tripped. Oh, let's see. Okay, we got this angle. Even better. Oh, hold on now. Hold on now. Maybe. It's a lot of feet right there. You know, he's trying to get to the second level, trying to block number four. And whoop, Turf Monster got us. Hey, shit happens. I think he probably got tripped in there. I can't really tell. A lot of feet getting entangled, you know, trying to get to that second level. Right here, good block. Good block. What the hell? You know, not bad. Seals his man off. But watch, watch the guy he's blocking at the end of this play. What the hell is he doing? I am so confused at 45 right now. Huh? One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. <laughs> hey, man, enjoying it. Oh, this is really good. Oh, this is really good right here. Initial step. Uh, nice, nice. Gets in his back pedal. He waits. Notice he doesn't turn until he commits. I like that. You can't flip those hips until he commits. Once he commits, you flip those hips. Bam. You're athletic enough. Use those arms. This is perfect. Watch, watch. Boom. This is perfect. This is a good angle. It's good off the ball. It's okay off the ball. I've seen better. You know, seen better, seen worse. But right here, as soon as that guy, see how he's, he's going. He's going for the commit. He's going to try to dip. Can't dip me. You know I'm 6'6". Six, six. You're going to try to get up under there and rip through there. No chance. Look at that. Use his hands. Crazy. Crazy. You got two hands. You should use them. Shoot those hands. 45. Not using his hands. He's going to be cooked. Got to use your hands. That's a really good block right there. Oh, this is also... Ooh. Oh, my God. What a cut. Hold on. Running back. Running back got me excited for a second. Uh, Right here. He's got... He's 45's over him. 45's going to dive down. He sees the splits coming late, athletic enough to get to it, just gets his hands on him, pushes that guy out of play, wish he would have finished because look who, you know, comes to try to make this tackle, that same guy, though, we we'll try to just run with him next time, you know, you saw it late, now right here, get, you know, get a hold on him and just drive him off this play, instead he just pushes him a little bit, which you think, for the most part, is 3rd and 1, that's all you really need to do, but I mean, when your running back is doing stuff like this, what? You know, you want to really finish that block. You want to really finish that block. All right, let's see right here. Good. He's very, very patient. I like it. Very, very patient, man. This is a really good block. Look at that space. He keep that space between him, you know, and his defensive end. And then we shoot our hands, and now we're on him. Now I'm 6'6", 320, and it's going to be hard for you to get up off me. It's perfect. Patient, patient, patient. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Hey, I like what I see so far, man. 
It's only the first quarter. I'm going to go through this whole game, but I do like what I see so far. This guy's looking good. This guy's looking good. That's okay. To the second level. Um, Let's see. This angle might be better. Oh, this is not the same play. Well, not bad. Not bad. Not bad on the second level right there. That's what I want to see because if he's going to play guard, play center, he's going to have to get to that second level a lot. I mean, you do it at tackle sometimes, but you definitely do it, you know, more at that guard and center position because, you know, you're coming off that double team of that D tackle, then trying to get to the linebackers. That's not bad. That's not bad. Seals that guy's all, you know. I like it. This is good right here. Guy just dives inside. Throwing our hands once again. This once again, this guy, I think that's 45 again. He's just not using his hands. Don't know why. You got two of them. Once again, really, really patient. Really, really good at the right tackle position. Guy's gonna try to dip up under him once again. And it does not work. It does not work. Not as good right here. Getting to that second level. Getting to that second level. Makes good contact. Right here, this is like a lineman's worst nightmare. Look at this. All this space and athletic linebacker. What are we going to do? First of all, I don't know what we're doing with our hands here. We're ready to shoot him. Shoots him. Actually, you know, that's not bad. But guy's athletic. Hey, when you get him, let's not let him go. If you don't let this guy go, let me watch this play. If he seals this guy off, everybody else is blocking their man. Everybody else is blocking their man. It's just that safety coming downhill. And it's going to be, if he blocks this guy, it's one-on-one -on -one with that safety. But your guy gets in there, makes that play. I mean, that could be a touchdown right there. That could be a touchdown if he could just seal his guy off. I mean, you know the play's going right as well. Or maybe it's supposed to come out the middle and he just bounces it out right. So I'll give you a, I'll give you a pass for that. But right here, man, when you shoot those hands, you got to drive this guy. I'm sure you probably got 100 pounds on him. You got to drive him out this play. I know it's hard because they're athletic. And they can just squeeze up out of there. Still solid. Not, not a bad block by any stretch of the imagination. They still got, you know, good positive yards out there. But I'm sure he'll tell you that he could have probably done better on that. Well, this is too easy. He just, I mean, this is this is called a violent punch right here. That's, that's how I know if you're shooting your hands or not. Use those hands. Get violent. Perfect. Get him out this play. I like that right there. That strength. That's what I like to see. This is what I love to see. Look at that kick. Look at that first step. Bam. Look how he closes that space. That is perfect. That is perfect. I mean, guys lined up a little outside of him. Boom. That first step. Now we're even. Shoot my hands right here. You're too small. Get out the way. That is really good. It's a lot of outside moves, man. I want one of these guys to, like, try to go inside on him one time. Just to see, you know, that athleticism, see if he can change, flip those hips, you know, inside. Because right here, he's super, super patient, waiting for you to go outside. Patience, patience, patience. When you go, he commits, and he's blocking you. And he's doing it very, very easy. Very, very easy. Okay, it's kind of going inside. Not really, not really what I'm looking for. They got a corner blitz here. He picks this up. Good job by the running back getting over here on the corner blitz. Why The Saints can't even do this. This makes me mad. This really makes me mad. Everybody's on the same page right here. You got this corner coming off, you know, the edge right here. Right tackle doesn't panic, you know, doesn't panic, blocks his guy. Doesn't panic to that corner blitz. The running back smart comes over. This is good football. What, what, what happened with the Saints was it would have been a corner blitz. This right tackle. Well, it wouldn't have been Ramchick because he's smarter than this. But the right tackle would have blocked number nine. The running back would have blocked number nine. And this guy that's diving inside would have been wide open and then tore our quarterback up. Because that's how the Saints blocked blitzes last year. Old Dominion, they do it perfect. It's crazy. We got Old Dominion that can do pick up blitzes correctly, but the Saints can't. What we got going on here? Gets a little tap on three. Gets back. Nothing really going on there. Another guy out there, 56, stands no chance off the edge. Oh, I like that. I didn't even peep that the first time. Watch him get a little hand on number three. Hey, help your guy out, man. 
If your guy want to take his time and come, I like it. Looking for work, man. Looking for work. As an offensive lineman, you got to look for work. Cesar Ruiz, his first two years, that was my biggest thing with him. He was never looking for work. If a guy wasn't in front of him, he just kind of standing there, man. Hey, find somebody to touch, please. I mean, you got to still, you know, do your responsibilities. But see right there, it's a quick punch. See that punch on number three? You don't think that's a lot, but, I mean, it helps. Takes a little pressure off your guard right there. Watch this little quick punch. Boom. See how that guy's whole shoulder goes back? Like I said, it's subtle. And it probably didn't affect this play as much. But right there, look at that. That's perfect. Perfect pause. See how that guy goes back? You're pushing his momentum back. Now your guard, your guard has an easy job. And look at the wingspan. I mean, look at his arms right here. Still able to, boom, shoot those hands, get to his guy. Look at the right side of the line. I mean, look at the entire line, to be honest. This is perfect. That's how you play. That's how you play football. And look at it, actually, because look at number three. Number three en ends up winning this battle against this guard. But that little extra push, you know, gave him that little extra second. That's all you need. That's all you need. Once again, this guy keeps trying to go outside. Not going to work. Not going to work on him. I've already seen enough that you're not beating him outside. Oh, and you end up on the ground. What you got going on here, man? Yeah, what you got going on there? Don't really like this. The back. He looks very unathletic right there for some reason. Just a weird. Just a weird one. But we're shooting our hands. Oh, we getting pushed back a little bit. Got to be stronger right there. Holds his ground at the end. Holds his ground at the end right there. Catches him. You know, obviously you don't want to be that far in the backfield, but does a good job. Oh, inside move. Covers it. Covers it, though. Covers it. Oh, it's going to be a stunt. Guy falls. Guy falls. So this guy's going to jump inside right here. He kind of beats him. I don't know if he would have beat him because he got there. But it's also a stunt coming around. He has to be ready for that. The guy just slips. So obviously when he sees it, he can get back. Get back to it. That's the second stunt I've seen him get beat on. Those things are coachable. I'm not worried about you getting beat on stunts because that, that's things you, you know, you're going to see that in the NFL. You're going to get coached up on that. Solid. Oh, there it is. Gets killed inside. I just asked for it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. He was setting up outside a lot. Um, and I can just tell inside move. Inside move is going to get him. Right here. That's way too easy. We can't have that. Oh, my God. Is this the same running back making people miss like this? Yep. I mean, this is just way too easy. See how that guy sells it up. Sells up Phil. Comes inside. Yep. It's over with. It's over with. Finally, a bad rep. Hey, I was looking for a bad rep. It's been, I mean, it's a whole half. That's the first play of the third quarter. Maybe they went back, you know, uh, well, I guess the second play of the third quarter. Maybe when they halftime, it was like, hey, man, he's setting up outside. Let's, you know, go up go up the field, cut inside on him. Obviously, they probably talked about that at halftime. Um, I'm sure the D-line coach from Virginia Tech, because they do it. First pass play of the second half, come right inside. An easy, easy win. Easy win. Now they try to go back, attack the outside, and what, what we've seen, he's going to be good here. Really good block. Eat that grass for me real quick. This is this is really good. Like the active feet, we're getting ready. Like how we can turn our hips late right here, boom. And now we got to be an athlete. At this position, you have to be an athlete. You can't just be 6'6", six, six, 320, and unathletic. Got to be an athlete, boom. Athletic enough to get there. Pushes that guy, touch the grass. That's a win. Oh, buddy. Another inside move right here. Goes inside. Shot our hands late. For the first time, I think the Virginia Tech, look at that. Virginia Tech guy gets his hands on him first. The guy who's probably, you know, make that contact first is probably going to win most of the time. And now we're getting driven back. Got to be a little better than that. Got to be a little better than that. Wasn't bad. I mean, not terrible. Not terrible. But got to get those hands shot. He does. He grabs, but gets pushes back. You're not going to win every rep. I mean, that's only probably two reps he's lost since I've been watching. That's not bad at all. Oh, man. Hey. Got to see this blitz. Got to see is it late. You see him? Sees it late. Make that three reps. Sees this blitz late. We can't have this. Oh, man. It's how you lose games. It's how you lose games. Can't have that. Can't have that. 
I'm not going to say it's on him because the, the tight end looks like he's trying to block as well. You know, tight end absolutely blocks nobody on this play. Watch the tight end. So I actually don't know who this is on. Man, tight end is just, he runs upfield, misses that guy, misses that guy. Man, he's just confused. I don't know what the hell they got going on right here. But I'm going to just blame him. I'm going to blame Nick just because, man. Help you, help you guys out. I'll, okay, I wanted to see him make a tackle. I see the wheels. But got to be better right there. Oh, man, in space again. In space again. If you're going to play guard at the next level, it's going to be as athletic linebackers. No offense to this linebacker right here, number four, but it's going to be much better linebackers in the NFL than him. Hey, don't get me wrong. This, this guy might be great. I have no idea who it is. But like I said, Lyman's worst nightmare. It's you, it's him, and it's nothing but space. What are we going to do? Can't do that. I mean, I like the second effort, but got to be better. Got to be better than that. Got to be better. Things to work on. So, obviously, second level blocking is going to be okay. I like this play. Active. Very active in the pocket. I mean, he's not a guard right here, but with a guy outside of him, you know, we can pretend this tight end is a tackle and he's a guard right here, especially with that guard pulling. He's basically the guard on the right side. So, I'm glad this play is actually in here because, I mean, with that guard pulling to the left side, the Saints do this a lot in pass protection. Uh, he's basically a guard. And as a guard, you got to be smart, man. Because obviously he has nobody in his hole, so he's looking for work, looks for work. But guess what? I'm smart enough that, hey, somebody's coming in my gap now. Now I got to get back here. And this is good. And he didn't miss this block. The center just kind of pushed this guy away from him. Like he has him, but then the center just pushes him out, running back there to save it. This is really, really good play. Like it. Looking for work, man. I'm going to help on this edge right here with my tight end. Oh, wait, somebody's coming through my hole. We step here, get squared up. Good block there. That's perfect. That is perfect. Ah, bad rep here. Bad rep here. Gets beat outside, up the field. I mean, if everybody got beat here, Jesus. You can't let that guy do this. Come on. Come on, fellas. Look at that center in that guard right there. The running back like, oh, shit. I don't want to help. That's a big dude. Yeah, just a bad play. Just a bad play. Hey, we finally got the stunt. We finally got the stunt. Third down. They're down seven in the fourth quarter. Helps here. Look at the eyes. He even sees that blitz late. He sees it all. Helps right there. You know, I see him look dead at number one. Then number one decides to go inside. So then, bam, I held back on number six. This is a really, really good play. See right here? You see how he's stepping away from this double team? He's on this double team right here. He's on the double team. Two hands on. He sees this blitz from the corner. Now watch. He's already getting off. He's ready to start setting up, you know, to, uh, to block this corner. Corner goes inside, then boom, I'm back on number six. Excellent, 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 excellent. 10 out of 10. Okay, there we go in the run game. It's been a lot of pass plays in here. Check them out. Clearing some space right there. Clearing some space. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. But once again, that's almost the same thing. Clearing some space in there. It's a pretty good block right here. Guy tries to come back inside. That is perfect. That is perfect. So fourth and 11, you know it's a pass play. These guys know it's a pass play. Let's see what we got. Oh, hey, we did our job. Shoot those hands. I mean, that's hands to the face definitely on defense. They didn't call it. He's at his stroke now. Come on, ref. Jesus Christ. Get used to it, dude, when you play for the Saints. They're not going to call it. It's a real, real good get off at the line right there. That's that's one of his better ones right there. I like that. Ready. Got them hands ready. Shoots them. I mean, we got hands to the throat, hands to the face. Let them play then. Let them play. I mean, look at the time right now. 155 left in the game. Good block. Oh, we got a little pancake right there. Oh, we take that. Oh, we take that. Oh, fourth and one. Once you fourth and one, a minute thirty three left. You have to get this first down or this game is over. Uh let's see what happens here. Good block there. Oh my god. Come on. I gotta watch the running back. Give me a second. I'll watch the, I'll watch him later. What the hell? This is blowing up. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Who's this running back? 
All right, let me back back to the guy that we got. Jesus Christ. Boom. Okay, double team gets to that second level on number four. I mean, honestly, he makes this play. I'm not even being biased here because this play is not even designed to come to the right. I mean, you look at this play. It's designed to go through the middle and it's blown up. I think it's a tight end and him over here. They have to hold their blocks for so, so long right here because it's a lot going on in that backfield. They're still holding their blocks. It's a, a chaos. Nothing but chaos. Look how long he has to hold his block just for that guy to get through. I mean, look at this. Him and that tight end, they're both holding these blocks. This is a long time on fourth and short right here. Those guys are fighting. They're battling. They're battling. They're battling. Boom. Takes them a while, but they get the one yard. That's a good way to end it, man. This is, this is surprising. This is the best film I've watched out of everybody so far. Only one game. Maybe it was his best game of the year. But this was really, really good. Now I'm intrigued. Now I have to watch another game because this was very, very good. I'm, I'm sure they're not going to play, you know, as good of competition as Virginia Tech. I'll have to check their schedule to see. But this was some really, really good film. Only about four or five negative plays in total. And that was the entire game um, I watched from their offense. So that's really, really good. I'm, I'm interested to see, you know, how good this guy is. I'm not going to see if he played any other positions this season. Uh, just he played right tackle, see if he got some guard, some center. I know he did in the senior bowl, but, man, this is good. Everybody's saying he's a center or guard, but I saw, I liked what I saw at tackle. I liked what I saw. Maybe he's not, you know, year one at tackle. Maybe he starts off, you know, just as a versatile guy wherever. But at right tackle, I know we got Ram chick, so that's just solidified. But, man, two to three years, if, you know, something happens where we can't re-sign somebody or we need a tackle, this guy looks like he has potential to be an NFL starter. I'm just going to say that right now. And I usually don't say that about guys that have, you know, picked in the fourth, fifth, sixth round. But this guy looks like he can be really, really good. He's better than some tackles in the league right now. I'll tell you that right now. There's some bad tackles out there. Maybe it won't translate. But what I've seen on this tape, this guy looks really, really good. And I like what I saw. Uh, let me know what y'all think about him in the comments below, man. It's always just the boot tragedies. And I'm out.